yeah so hi everyone uh, welcome back to the channel uh, it has been a really long time that i have uploaded any video here but uh, i have been in contact with a lot of uh, uh, phd aspirants who are appearing for the interviews in this session and uh, i have found that uh, uh, the community still lacks uh, the information on how a typical PhD interviews uh, go in India. So uh, this video will be a purely non-technical video, and here I would like uh, I, I will try to break down the uh, different parts of the interview that actually go on. Uh, I'll, I'll try to cover uh, some important topics that uh, might be important for you to take care while appearing in the interviews and small tips and tricks kind of things and yeah so uh, uh, when, when when you appear for the interview whether it's an online or an offline interview the first thing is always the introduction part so you need to introduce yourself now uh, a lot of people make a mistake they would try to just uh, kind of sell themselves by telling everything every small detail ab uh, about their academic uh, academic career uh, that is not relevant in this case because of two things. First thing that you are going to appear for a research experience, a research uh, position, and, uh, uh, and 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 only things relevant to that should be uh, told to the uh, to the committee there. And the second thing is that you only have 10 to 15 minutes, or let's say 20 minutes of interview time, and you will not like to spend five minutes in explaining whatever you have already uploaded in your cv so just uh, uh, keep in mind uh, of that thing i have already prepared a video uh, uh, that, that has been posted earlier on this channel that is specifically dedicated on how to introduce yourself so i'll, I'll just uh, provide a link in the uh, description section and then uh, from there you can uh, get get a good idea of that once you introduce yourself, uh, you should mention what is your area of interest because the, the committee should get an idea on what type of questions that should be asked to you to judge you uh, uh, in, in, in a very relevant manner. Right. So that is very important that one line you should speak that, yeah, uh, my area of interest broadly lies in, let's say, astronomy and astrophysics or condensed matter physics or something like that. So that your interview propagates in the same manner. Once you explain that, there is uh, then the committee will ask you, hmm, tell me your uh, two or three uh, favorite subjects that you have prepared. Now it's very important for you that the two or three subjects that you mentioned should be relevant for your area of interest. So um, let's say uh, if I if I tell that my area of interest is uh, astronomy and astrophysics, I should tell or uh, I, it would be really good to mention that my area of my favorite subjects that I have prepared is classical mechanics and uh, uh, electromagnetic theory and mathematical physics. Mathematical, I mean, you may or may not mention because that is a universal thing. Uh, mathematics is physics. So, um, but uh, you can tell some physics subjects. In my case, I always mentioned uh, classical mechanics and electromagnetic theory. And uh, sometimes uh, if they ask for the third one, I went with the quantum mechanics. So so you should you should be prepared with two or three subjects and that should be relevant to your uh, relevant to your area of interest. Apart from that, you should have a basic knowledge of uh, what uh, what your area of interest, uh, I mean, in your area of interest. So you should have a broad idea. Let's say if I tell that my interest is astronomy and astrophysics, I should be able to answer some very fundamental, very basic questions on uh, on astronomy and astrophysics. Uh, it may be in technical or non-technical, like any some decent breakthrough or what made you interest in that. Have you read any papers? Have you done any work on that? So so something like that. Uh, now now once the interview starts. And they, they, they'll most probably will start with some basic subjects that you have mentioned, like classical or like electromagnetic theory or quantum mechanics, etc. Uh, then you will be asked questions on that. Uh, they will start with some very basic questions, and the question and, and the next question will depend on the the answer that you have given uh, in the first place. So uh, one very important advice, and I'm pretty sure everyone must have told you, is that. Uh, 
uh, when you are asked something uh, in the interview try to explain it as simple as possible because the committee members already are experts of that and they just want to know whether you exactly understand what that is so avoid using a lot of complicated terms avoid using a lot of uh, uh, lengthy sentences and all try to tell try to explain those things in a very fundamental manner so that they get an idea yeah, that this uh, person has uh, understood it fundamentally on uh, what, what the topic is sometimes a lot of people make mistake is that uh, they just use a lot of complicated terms within a definition of something or whatever is asked and then the next question comes on that and that is where the uh, the person gets stuck yeah so avoid that now there will be a there will be cases and there will definitely be cases where you will not be knowing the answer of what is asked <clears throat> because uh, frankly uh, you are judged based on what you speak in 20 minutes which contains which in which the the person can ask you from five years of syllabus bsc plus msc right so 20 minutes generally is not enough of course but uh, there and, and of course there's very high chance that you might not be knowing everything you must have prepared to your best but there will always be gaps in that case always uh, try to be very honest and just mention that yeah i i uh, i'm sorry sir i have not studied it well or i'm not able to recall uh, sometimes it happens that you might get blank because that because you are nervous so just let them know that you have studied this topic but you are not able to explain it currently because you are slightly nervous this is and and do not try to guess yeah so it's not a multiple choice question and you are guessing and another person will be like yeah what a guess what a good guess skills should not do that because uh, if you try to guess and you luckily get the correct answer in the guessing the next question will be based on your answer and then you will get stuck and then the committee will will, will think that yeah he was just guessing this is because you are going to become a researcher and a researcher should understand whatever he knows and equally should know whatever he does not know that is uh, so that you can you can you can uh, be honest and uh, you can you can have a good learning curve and uh, you can produce some really good scientific results based on correct things like improper understanding leads to improper spurious results in your research that would be a waste of time for you as well as the academic researcher so it's very important that you should showcase this skill that if if you know something you are answering it correctly and if you don't know you are honestly accepting it uh, there will be cases where you will be asked questions from uh, the the topics that you have not mentioned a lot of times but then uh, you most probably will not be, be judged based on that because you as you have honestly mentioned that you have not read those subjects very well now uh, when you are appearing uh, in like uh, in, in the interview there are cases where you would be making some silly mistakes that is for sure if they ask you to make some plots or ask you to write some equations there is a very high chance that uh, you will be making mistake if uh, if uh, if the committee wants he, they may they may try to ask you questions on that so that if you have made some mistake they will try to make you realize and get it corrected but there are cases where the committee will just try to move forward and 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 uh, and then you may realize later a bit later let's say five ten minutes or two three minutes that you have mentioned something wrong so uh, it's better to just keep going with the interview and maybe by the end of the interview you can mention that uh, i would like to change my answer for this to this i was slightly nervous and uh, now i have realized that i have uh, i have explained this equation wrong or i have told this uh, formula wrong uh, do not just try to interfere within the interview process but just try, wait till the end so that uh, you don't break the rhythm and uh, and whatever and you don't of course um, uh, create a, some different kind of impression now the other thing is if you have project if you have mentioned any projects in your interview uh, introduction part that i have done a projects relevant to this be prepared to be asked questions on that so you will be asked a lot of questions on what techniques you have used which papers you have studied and uh, is uh, is it published or not that is another thing and uh, what were the results of that uh, 
so uh, that is very very important for you to understand wha- what you have done how you have done and why you have done in your uh, in your thesis work uh, that will showcase your research skills because thesis work generally requires 6 to uh, 12 months of work generally so uh, yeah, so so of course you should be able to get some idea of how research is and you should get an idea of these things and uh, if uh, and and the researcher the uh, the committee should understand that part there will be cases where uh, you might not be confident whether uh, you should mention about your thesis or not in that case do not uh, because if you do not, if you are not able to answer correctly or if you answer incorrectly if you so that would be a bad impression because the thing that you really are uh, going to work that is the research in uh, and you have done it and you have not understood it correctly in last one year that would be a bad impression of, uh, of you now if you have done any if you have done any coding or anything so if you mention that uh, there will be questions on that uh, so uh, they may ask you to write a small a small code of let's say uh, summation or maybe uh, multiplication of 1 to 100 number small very small codes until unless you mention that you have done something uh, big in your uh, in your uh, thesis work then they may ask you some extra things but of course it's a 10 to 15 minutes uh, thing uh, then they will not be asking very much detail you just they will just try to know uh, whether you have some skills or not now now once your uh, the questions on your uh, uh, the basic subjects will be asked after that you you may be asked on your area of interest and after that they may ask you on your thesis work or or your coding skills so this thing this all these all will be uh, taking let's say 15 to 20 minutes and uh, and yeah and and once the interview gets over the panel will let you know that the interview is over so it's a good thing and it's a good uh, it's a suggestible thing that whenever the interview gets over you just try thank the committee for giving you time so they can understand that you are you have you have uh, you acknowledge their time to uh, uh, to uh, like uh, g- give time for your interview so you can say something like thank you very much for uh, giving me opportunity to um, to uh, to, uh, to be here something like that so that will be a decent impression on the uh, committee members and, and and that's the whole overview of how the interview goes uh, so so i just titrate a slightly uh, things again just uh, you should be prepared with two or three subjects very well and have some basic idea on your area of interest uh, and should be able to answer some basic things if you don't know just let them know you don't know uh, do not guess that is a very important thing if you make silly mistakes do not uh, just go with the flow for that timing if you made some silly mistakes and the question is over and the committee is asking something else just do not uh, interfere in between and you can just tell in the end that uh, i would like to change my answer to this if you have done any project then uh, try to uh, prepare it very well because you you will be asked a lot of questions on that and if you are not confident then do not mention that you have done any projects in your uh, in your inter- in, in your uh, introduction part and if you have done any coding skills you should let them know because physics nowadays uh, involves a lot of coding whether it's a uh, theoretical or uh, analytical part and, uh, and of course acknowledge their time in the end of the interview uh, yeah so so that, that that's all i just wanted to cover and uh, i hope this video may help you out for the interview and uh, all the very best i hope you get uh, your uh, dream institute and uh, and do some wonders in the research yeah thank you very much bye